everybody. So today, before we start, we're gonna learn a song. It's called the welcome song, and it uses sign language. So this is how you say hello. This is how you say friends. So you take your two fingers and they're gonna hug each other like this. And then this is how you say time. And this is how you say say. And the song goes like this. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. It's time to say hello. Oh, hello. Oops, my bad. Now, Stephanie has something for you. Hi, everyone. Stephanie here. So, today we're going to talk all about animals you find in the jungle. Has anyone ever been to the jungle before? Maybe. The jungle has lots of animals. Can anyone think of any animals you might find in the jungle? I know I can. So keep those in mind because we'll talk about a bunch of different animals later on. But to start us off, we thought it would be very fun to sing a little silly song called Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. Can everyone show me a five? Good. So I'm going to need your help today to count down. And if you want, stand up and dance along to the song. All right, are you ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many now? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And there was one, one little monkey jumping on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. They fell asleep while laying their heads. Doctor called Mama and Mama said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That was lovely singing. A very, very silly song. And we know monkeys aren't really in our beds. Where are they? They're in the jungle. So Paula, now going to talk to you all about the jungle and other animals you find in the jungle. Over to you, Paula. Now we're going to actually do a fun activity. We're going to pretend to be in a jungle. Are you guys ready? So we're pretending we are in the middle of a jungle. And we have our binoculars and we're seeing through them. Binoculars are great to actually see things that are far, far away. And this is what we see when we have our binoculars on. So we're going through the jungle and we're looking for animals. Oh, we see something. What jungle animal can you see? That is correct. Tiger starts with a T. T, -t tiger. And tiger is orange and it has black stripes. You're right. And what does this tiger say? The tiger says, Rrr. And this is a real life tiger. So they're quite big. Okay, we're looking through the jungle, and what do we see? We see a crocodile. And crocodile starts with a C. K -k crocodile. And crocodile, look, he has a big mouth. And he has sharp, sharp teeth. And you can see crocodiles in the water, or you can see them walking on land. And this is a real life crocodile. So, oh, now what do you see? 
Yes. A monkey. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. A monkey starts with an M. Monkey. And what do monkeys do? They swing in the trees. That's correct. And what do they eat? Yes, some, some monkeys actually eat bananas. And others eat other fruits or they eat nuts. And here's a real life monkey. Look at that tail. The tails are very, very strong. And it helps them climb trees. Ooh, what animal is this? It's not a lizard. It's a little bit bigger than a lizard. It's an iguana. So iguana starts with an I. So iguana. And iguanas are great because they can change colors and they can camouflage in the jungle. And this is how they look like in real life. They're so cool. Okay, we look into the jungle and what do we see? Oh, what is animals this? It's a jaguar. And jaguar starts with a J. Ja, ja, jaguar. And look at the spots on this fur. They're very unique. And if you see a jaguar, run away really, really fast because jaguars are really, really fast. And this is how it looks like in real life. You might see them in the zoo. What animal is this? You're right, it's a gorilla. So pump your chest like a gorilla. And gorilla, they start with a letter G. K -k gorilla. That's very good. And this is how it looks like in real life. They're very big. Okay, what animal is this? I think I heard it. An ant eater. An ant eater has a very long nose and a very long, long tongue. They use it to actually eat ants. And this is how it looks like in real life. An ant eater is as with an A. So, a uh, ant eater. Very good. What jungle animal is this? It's a toucan. Oh, look at that colorful beak. It looks like a rainbow. And toucan starts with a T. T, T. Toucan. This one's in real life. What animal is this? Rawr. A lion. That's good. And a lion starts with an L. L, L. Lion. This is a cartoon lion. But it looks like a baby lion, doesn't it? A baby lion is called a cub. And this is a lion in real life. They're very, very big. What animal is this? A parrot? Well, they're very similar. So this is called a macaw. And you can find it in the rainforest in South America. And they are, have very, very colorful feathers. And macaw is starts with an M. So, mm, macaw. Look at that. They look so beautiful when they're flying. Oh, what animal is this? It's an elephant. Yes, can you name the, this part of the elephant? Yes, it's a trunk. And what about this? It's the elephant ears. Very good. So an elephant starts with an E. A, a elephant. Very good. And when an elephant walks, it stomps with its feet. Stomp, 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 stomp. And this is how it looks like in real life. They're very big animals. What animal is this? Hiss. Hiss. It's a snake. Snake starts with an S. S snake. And you can find them in the trees or you can find them in the water. Also, a very cool fact about about snakes is that they can come in different colors. You can find them in uh, green, yellow, orange, red, and something also very cool is that they can come in different sizes. You can see very big snakes and very, very small, tiny snakes. I hope you enjoyed this game. That was a fun game. 
Now I have a song for you. Are you ready to sing and dance with me? Start! Great song, did you like it? Now Stephanie has a book for you. That was great singing, everyone. Now we thought it would be a good time to sit back, relax, get comfortable, turn on your listening skills, and it's time to read a story. Does anyone want to listen to a story? Great! Today we're going to read Rumble in the Jungle. Let's begin! Rumble in the Jungle by Gilles André and David Wojcicki. Right from the cover, what animals can we see? A zebra, a monkey, and a giraffe. Oh, and what are these lovely stripes on? That's right, a zebra. Rumble in the jungle. There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling in the leaves. The hippos at the water hole. The leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening. Some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. Can you see anyone in the jungle? What do we have down here? Ants? It looks like we have a paw here with stripes. A tata tiger and we also have black and white stripes. Z zebra. Here it looks like we have a g g gorilla and this tall tall neck for a j giraffe. Swinging from the trees, it looks like we have some monkeys and also some s snakes. Maybe an a uh, Elephant. And I see some more eyes back there. So let's read the story and find out who else we have. Chimpanzee. It's great to be a chimpanzee. Swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch on each other's fleas. Can you imagine that? Here you can see the mama eating fleas off her baby. Lion. The lion's the king of the jungle, who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaw. Roar! Can you roar like a lion? Good. Elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round and wander through the jungle just elephanting around C 
zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes, which my lady friend likes, since they make me look handsome and cool. Here we can see the zebra and his lady friend. Snake. The boa constrictor's a slippery snake who squashes then swallows his prey. He knows that's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. Sss. Giraffe. Some animals laugh, ha 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 at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I don't re really care. And when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by the cloud. Do we see that long neck of the giraffe? Hippopotamus. Hello, I'm a big happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, which hippos like doing a lot. Do you like being in the mud like a hippo? <laughs> I don't. Crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. Ooh. -oo. Rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. We see here the big rhino. Gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me. The galloping Gorgeous gazelle, I can leap so high that my horns touch the sky, and I'm awfully pretty as well. Gorilla. The gorilla is big, black, and hairy, and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop at his giant great chest. Thud, 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 thud. Leopard. If you meet a hungry leopard prowling through the night, make sure you call him Sir and be incredibly polite. Tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near. His eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights and his growl makes you tremble with fear. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den, so let's leave them till tomorrow and we'll visit them again. The End Thank you so much for listening to that lovely story with me. That was a great book. Now we're going to move around. We're going to pretend to be animals. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Okay, so first, we we're going to pretend to be a snake. Slithering snake. Zing. Slithering snake. Very good. Now, we're going to pretend to be an elephant, so we need to stomp our feet. Stomp, 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 stomp. Good! Now we're going to pretend to be a turtle. So we're gonna swim. We're gonna swim in the water like this. Very good. Now we're gonna pretend to be a cheetah. So we're gonna run, 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 run. Very good. And now we're going to pretend to be a gorilla. So we're gonna pump our chest like this. Yeah! Now what other animal should we pretend to be? Mm. Oh, how about a crocodile? Snap! 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 
That was very, very good. How about we pretend to be a frog? So we're gonna leap like a frog, okay? So we're gonna go like this, and then jump, jump, jump. Very good. That was really good, but I'm so tired. I think we're all done for today. Oh, but before that, I have a song for you. So the goodbye song is very similar to the hello song. The only thing that's different is that instead of saying hello, you say goodbye. And this is how you say goodbye in sign language. Very good. So it's goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to say goodbye. And I have one more song for you. It's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Are you ready to sing with me? So, Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, come aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. On five, four, three, two, one, blast off! That was great! Thank you for joining us on, on our circle time. Now, just to let you know, next week we have, it's our last week, so we have one recorded circle time and our last live circle time. So please join us. Also, as we mentioned before, me and Stephanie are both students and we would love to hear your feedback so that we can improve and become better. So I created a survey and I put it on the link down below Please fill it out. Thank you so much and goodbye.